Right now, just beneath the surface of our daily lives, there's this massive technological revolution brewing. And it's about to change everything. How we live, how we work, everything. By 2030, we're not talking about far-off theoretical ideas anymore. These technologies are ready to pop, about to jump from labs into our everyday reality. So let's dive into these five game changers that are about to flip our world upside down. Number one, quantum computing. So let's say that you've got a problem that would take our fastest supercomputers thousands of years to solve. With quantum computing, minutes. Seriously. And the global race to dominate this tech is getting intense. While your laptop processes everything as ones and zeros, like binary on-off switches, quantum computers use something called qubits. These qubits can exist in multiple states at once thanks to this mind-bending thing called superposition. It's like having a switch that's simultaneously on, off, and everything in between. That's why the stakes in this race are astronomical. As Google's Quantum AI Chief Operating Officer Charina Chu explained, these machines can solve problems impossible for current computers and AI because it speaks the quantum language rather than using zero and one. All chemical reactions in life are quantum mechanics. In other words, quantum computers think more like nature does. Just a few months ago, Google dropped their Willow quantum chip. Get this, it can perform calculations in under 5 minutes that would take our fastest regular supercomputers 10 septillion years. That's longer than the universe has existed. Not to be outdone, Microsoft unveiled their Majorana 1 chip, designed to eventually pack a million qubits onto a single chip. Jason Zander, who runs Microsoft's Strategic Missions division, says they'll potentially put a million qubits in the palm of your hand. And there's IBM. They announced their 156 qubit processor called Huron R2 and are gunning to build a massive, fault-tolerant quantum supercomputer by 2029. The potential applications of quantum computing are vast, from accelerating drug discovery by accurately simulating how drug candidates interact with biological molecules, to designing more efficient batteries by simulating materials like lithium nickel oxide at the atomic level, to potentially making fusion energy a reality through precise simulation of fusion reactions. All of that will be possible very, very soon. Number 2. 6G Networks Most of us are still figuring out what 5G even means for our phones. But guess what? 6G is already in the works. It's expected to hit the market around 2029 to 2030, and it's not just about downloading movies faster. The International Telecommunication Union, or ITU, has this grand vision they're calling the Intelligent Network of Everything. Let me explain. 6G will use these super high radio frequencies with way more capacity and, get this, latency that's a thousand times faster than what we have now. Your human eyes won't even notice the difference between 5G's millisecond delays and 6G's microsecond ones, but for machines talking to other machines, it's a game changer. The experts say 6G marks this massive shift. While 5G was all about making things better for us humans, 6G is flipping the script. According to Shamik Mishra, this connectivity guru at Capgemini Engineering, with 6G we expect that the network should be able to make decisions on its own at every layer. The network itself becomes smart, not just carrying data but actually thinking and deciding what to do with it. Kind of wild when you think about it. 6G networks will enable seamless connectivity across aerial, ground, sea, and even space communications on a single platform. They'll support 10 million connected devices per square kilometer, a hundredfold increase over 4G capabilities, making truly smart cities, autonomous transportation networks, and immersive augmented reality experiences possible. But perhaps most significantly, 6G will integrate artificial intelligence directly into its framework. While 5G laid the groundwork for human-to-machine communication, 6G will primarily serve machine-to-machine -machine communication, creating greater interoperability in a smart Internet of Things era. As Professor Swaroon Kumar of Carnegie Mellon University puts it, faster wireless communication means not just faster video streaming or file downloads, but the potential for new applications ranging from networked vehicles, smart factories, and collaborative virtual and augmented reality. 
By 2030, 6G won't just be connecting people, it will be the invisible fabric connecting our increasingly intelligent devices and systems, enabling a level of automation and efficiency previously unimaginable. Hey, you've made it this far, why not hit like, subscribe, and turn notifications on? Thanks! Number 3. Brain Computer Interfaces Now, if anything is going to blur the line between human and machine, it's this. We've gone from sci-fi movies showing people controlling computers with their thoughts to actual human clinical trials happening right now. It's wild. But what exactly are BCIs? They're these devices surgeons implant directly into brain tissue that can pick up your brain signals, basically your thoughts, and translate them into commands for machines. Your thoughts become actions in the physical world without you moving a muscle. The tech has come a long way since the first experiments back in the early 70s. Now, we've got major companies and universities racing to develop the technology, each taking slightly different approaches. Of course, Elon Musk's Neuralink grabbed all the headlines when they successfully put their first chip in a human brain. They called their first product telepathy. Pretty on the nose, right? It's designed to help paralyzed patients control devices just by thinking. But Musk isn't the only player in this game, not by a long shot. There's this company called BrainGate that's actually further along in some ways. They've published results in medical journals showing their interfaces are safe long term. Another outfit called Synchron wrapped up their early patient testing in late 2023. And then there's this French research center, Clinitech. They've got this device called Weimagine that sits right on the surface of your brain with 64 tiny electrodes. They've already helped a completely paralyzed person walk using an exoskeleton controlled by their thoughts. The head of Clinitech's BCI project, Guillaume Charvet, broke it down like this. When a patient imagines moving a leg or arm, the goal is to decode this brain activity in real time to control different effectors such as an exoskeleton or a stimulator at the spinal cord. They published their results in Nature in 2023, showing how they restored communication between a patient's brain and spinal cord. The person could actually stand up and walk naturally after being paralyzed for years. If that's not a miracle of modern technology, I don't know what is. Despite the exciting progress, experts believe we're still about 5 to 8 years from BCIs reaching a large market. Brian Jamieson, CTO and founder of BCI company Diagnostic Biochips, suggests that even according for large error bars, we could see use and acceptance in the next decade. Number 4. CRISPR-based gene editing Now let's talk about something that's literally changing what it means to be human. CRISPR gene editing. This tech is moving out of the lab and into the real world fast. The full name is a mouthful. Clustered, regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats. But don't worry about that. Just think of it as the world's most precise genetic scissors. It's like having a word processor for DNA where scientists can find, delete, and replace specific genetic sequences. Want to fix a mutation that causes a deadly disease? CRISPR can snip it out and patch in the correct code. It's that precise. Right now, there are clinical trials using CRISPR to treat people with sickle cell anemia and various cancers. By 2030, this could be totally mainstream medicine. Instead of just managing symptoms for life, we could be curing genetic diseases permanently by fixing the actual source code of our bodies. That's next level stuff. The global market for genome editing, including CRISPR technologies, was estimated at $10.7 billion in 2023 and is projected to reach $37.2 billion by 2030, growing at a compound annual growth rate of 19.4%. This growth is driven by increasing investment in biotechnology, the rising prevalence of genetic diseases, and ongoing advancements in gene editing technologies. So we're confident that this revolution won't stop moving forward. Number 5. Solid State Batteries Let's wrap up with something that might not sound as flashy as brain chips or DNA editing, but trust me, this is going to solve one of our biggest headaches in the switch to clean energy. Current batteries just aren't cutting it, but solid state batteries promise to be energy powerhouses with faster charging times and way better safety records. So what's the big difference? 
The batteries in your phone, laptop, and electric cars today use liquid electrolytes, basically a gel-like substance that can leak and even catch fire under the wrong conditions. We've all seen those videos of phones bursting into flames, right? Solid-state batteries swap that liquid for a solid material. These batteries won't leak, are much less likely to catch fire, and can pack way more energy into the same space. The race to be first is intense. Toyota, Nissan, Honda, all the major automakers are pouring money into developing these batteries. Toyota's teamed up with a Japanese petroleum company called Idemitsu Kosan and says they'll start making commercial grade cells by 2027 or 2028. And these aren't incremental improvements. We're talking electric cars with over 1,000 kilometers or 621 miles of range that can fast charge in just 10 minutes. That's double what today's best EVs can do. Solid Power, with Ford and BMW as partners, has raised $700 million to develop solid-state batteries with a silicon anode, a lithium-nickel-manganese-cobalt oxide, or NMC cathode, and a sulfide solid electrolyte. The company expects a 15% to 35% cost advantage over existing lithium-ion chemistry batteries at the pack level. In China, a consortium called the China All Solid State Battery Collaborative Innovation Platform, or KSEP, was established in January, bringing together government, academia, and industry, including EV battery rivals CATL and BYD. The initiative aims to build a supply chain for solid state batteries by 2030. As solid state battery technology matures, it could significantly impact energy storage and transportation sectors, potentially accelerating the transition to electric vehicles and renewable energy while enabling new applications that current battery technology cannot support. All these technologies will open doors we can't even see yet. New ways of solving problems, new forms of creativity, and new frontiers of human potential. The future is accelerating toward us.